Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today I'm excited to bring you my review of the Celestron Origin Smart Telescope. Celestron is calling this their Intelligent Home Observatory. It is a 6-inch Rasa telescope and is extremely fast and you can be up and running in no time at all. So with that said, let's jump into the review. Now you're probably aware of a lot of the specs and features that the Origin has, but in case you aren't, I'm just going to cover them real briefly. So on the outside, the mount is basically a Celestron Nexstar Evolution mount. This is an awesome single fork arm mount from Celestron. And one thing I love about it is not only is it a strong mount and it has azimuth and altitude clutches, but it has an internal battery. So charge it up, you can take your Origin wherever you want and you don't have to worry about tripping on cables or charging it or you know losing your alignment if you lose power. Uh, if you want to run a, a cable, you can still use the Origin and charge it at the same time. So either way works out. Uh, the telescope itself is the Celestron Rasa 6. And I was so happy to see a Rasa 6 because I love the Rasa 8 and I love the Rasa 11. But this is so lightweight and portable and you still get those really fast, well-corrected f2.2 optics. At the rear, here's the brains of the Origin, the computer unit, if you will, as well as the autofocuser. And then at the front of the Origin, obviously, you have the the camera, the dew heater ring, a dew shield, all that. Uh, it comes with a nice stainless steel tripod. So overall, you're getting some of Celestron's best technology with the Origin. The awesome Nexstar Evolution mount, Rasa 6 telescope, the computer that's going to do everything for you, and a good tripod. So Celestron really did select some quality components for the Origin. The first thing I want to talk about with the Origin is the camera setup here. So Celestron worked with QHY, a renowned camera manufacturer, to make the Origin camera. It uses the Sony IMX178 sensor. I actually have two separate planetary cameras that use this sensor in monochrome and in color, and I really like the camera for its sensitivity. It does use the Sony Starvis technology, which is excellent. Now, to get access to the camera is very easy. You just have to remove the dew shield, and to do that, you simply just pinch the two tabs, and then you push up on the Origin logo. So I will do that now. Pinch the tabs. Push up on the Origin logo on the side and it pops right off. And now you have access to the camera. So I can go ahead and unplug that and it will come off here. And there it is. So the Sony IMX178 sensor, as I mentioned, uh, size wise, it's a kind of a good match for the Rasa 6 because it has 2.4 micron pixel sizes, so it will give you good sampling. You shouldn't see a lot of square stars with the Rasa 6. Uh, and the other cool part is it has an integrated filter drawer, so I'll show you that next. Let me thread the camera back on here. All right, there we go. So you can pull out the magnetic filter drawer. And what's cool about this is it has a one and a quarter inch adapter on it, so you can use one and a quarter inch filters. This is just the standard uh, clear glass from Celestron. They do have the Origin filter as well, uh, but you can actually remove the one and a quarter inch adapter, and you can use two inch filters if you'd like. So if you are a astrophotographer and you're interested in downloading raw files and using a different narrowband filter than what Celestron has, you can certainly experiment with two inch or one and a quarter inch filters, which is a great touch from Celestron. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with the Rasa design, it is a very flat field design, produces very sharp stars. And with a sensor this size, you should see no distortions at the edges of the field whatsoever. So Celestron really kind of thought out this whole design when it came to the origin. Great choice using the Rasa 6. The focal length is about 335 millimeters and the focal ratio is f2.2. So you gather light so fast with the origin. And that is one thing that just sets it apart from all the other smart telescopes on the market. 10 second exposures, you're getting an image extremely quickly. Another really cool part about the camera here, obviously it's USB-C. Uh, I have heard that Celestron plans on offering some upgrades in the future, so we'll see what they decide on doing when it comes to cameras and that sort of thing. But yeah, this whole unit actually can come off, uh, and so there's lots of options that you have when it comes to a camera with, with the origin. So hopefully in the future we get a, a few options for maybe larger sensor sizes with the Origin or, or different kinds of, of imaging sensors.
The Origin also utilizes Celestron's dew heater ring. What this does is essentially it will detect when there's the dew point temperature that's been reached and it will automatically kick on to the right temperature to help keep your corrector plate nice and dew free so you can have a nice night of imaging whether you're in the summer or in the winter it will automatically adjust how much power it's giving that dew ring to keep keep your corrector dew free. To place the dew shield back on you simply just put it over the clips and then slide the Origin logo back into place. Just like that. Nice and simple. This summer I had the opportunity to visit Celestron's headquarters in Torrance, California and really see the back end on the quality assurance on the Origin and that was so much fun for me. I was really impressed with how the calibration frames for the Origin are done. They have a giant wooden crate and they put the Origin inside of that and they seal out all the light and they take their calibration frames and then they load them into the computer on each Origin device. So when you're taking your images those calibration frames are automatically applied to the images. Another thing I loved was seeing how the origin is collimated. So they have a collimation room and they have a ceiling fan, not like a house ceiling fan, but like a, a small industrial fan. And that stirs up the air in the room to kind of simulate outside conditions so they get that perfect collimation. So overall, I was highly impressed with the quality assurance that goes into the origin in Torrance at Celestron and they've done a great job on the Origin. The Origin Nebula filter is also excellent. It passes the Hydrogen Alpha, Hydrogen Beta, and Oxygen 3 bands at about 90% or more. And they also include a optical quality report with each Origin Nebula filter that goes out. And you can see mine, all those bands are transmitted at 90% or more, which is excellent. The filter is also designed to be used specifically with the fast optics of the Rasa 6 at f2.2. You get that really steep light cone and this filter is optimized for that. So it will give you excellent sharp results in your images. Now let's hear from Tired Cody about the battery life on the Origin. Battery life on the Celestron Origin must be really good because I started it last night at 10.30 p.m. It's now 7.30 a.m. I'm pretty tired, you can see I have bad head, but that's okay. And uh, it's still going, so that's nine hours later and it's still running. So I think the manual says it will last for up to or over six hours. Well, I'm at nine hours and it's still running right now, so pretty impressive. If you're a social media junkie and you've wiped out your phone battery after a long day of scrolling, another nice thing about the Origin is you can charge your phone while you use it, so that's a nice touch. Since the Origin utilizes the Nexstar Evolution mount, it does have clutches for azimuth and altitude, and this is great for storing the Origin. So if you're at home and you want the Origin to take up less space, you can simply loosen the altitude clutch and move the Origin, point it straight up, tighten it down, and just like that, you're taking up a lot less space in your house. So I love having clutches on my telescope mounts and the Origin has these, which is great. Now, speaking of storage, Celestron offers an excellent padded carrying case for the Origin optical tube. It's made with 900D Cordura, which is excellent material. It has 1.5 inch thick foam padding on the inside. So if you're looking to protect your investment in your optical tube, this is an excellent carrying case and I highly recommend it. One of my favorite features on the Origin is the ability to download the raw files from the Origin's computer in the FITS format. So if you're a researcher that does variable star research or you're like me and you do asteroid photometry research and rotation periods, getting the FITS files is absolutely key. So to do that, you simply just pop this panel out. You have a LAN port, USB 3 and USB 2. Take your flash drive, pop it into the USB 3 port. Then in the app, you simply just go to menu, you go to the settings, and go to the Manage Remote Files tab and you can download all your files, download the masters or download the raw images. So make sure if you're going to do that, that in your advanced settings, you have the Save Raw Images button checked. Uh, but I love that the Origin has the ability to download the raw fits files. So again, if you wanna do research, you can do that. Or if you simply wanna process your own images, taking the raw files right out of the Origin will allow you to do that. Now let's talk a little bit about portability when it comes to the Origin. So as I mentioned earlier, the 6-inch Rasa optical tube is much lighter than the 8-inch Rasa optical tube, so a lot more portable in that regard. I took the Origin specifically for this video to my Bortle 1 Dark Sky site just to demonstrate how portable it is. I can easily lift this up to my chest. It's pretty lightweight, so taking it inside and outside night to night is very easy. You know, right when I'm done for the evening, or in the morning, I just charge it up and then it's ready to go for the next night. So portability, 
10 out of 10 from Celestron, it is easy to get this thing around. If having a smart telescope wasn't simple enough, the Celestron Origin app is incredibly simple and self-explanatory. Once you've connected to the Wi-Fi, the Celestron Origin will attempt to initialize itself. With a clear sky, that's going to take less than two minutes. It aligns itself and you are ready to observe. You can go to the search tab, find tonight's best objects or whatever you want to search for, uh, tap on it and the origin will center itself, find the object, you know, plate solve, do everything to get itself centered. Once it's done, you can start imaging and it will start taking 10 second or 15 second exposures or whatever you've set it to. And AI will process those images in real time. So it's a very good algorithm. The images look great, crisp and clean, and you can literally watch the signal to noise ratio improve as the origin images. It's pretty incredible with this f2.2 uh, optical system. Each 10 second exposure, that image just gets better and better. So I will be honest, the origin is pretty incredible but it's incredibly simple. And that just makes the whole system so rewarding because you have the smart telescope that sets itself up, but then imaging is not complex. It's just a couple buttons that you press and you're off to the races. So whether you're an expert or an amateur, the origin is absolutely simple to set up from your first night to your 10th night. If you're still awake with the origin, you can stop an imaging session at any time and download that stacked image. It will finish processing and it will allow you to share that to your social media accounts, download it to your phone or do what you want to do with it. But what's really amazing about it is because the system is so fast, you can produce awesome images in 15 minutes or less, no problem. So in one night you can image dozens of objects if that's what you choose to do and Origin is going to process them all and they look great. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the images that I've taken with the Origin. The cool part about these images is I gathered all of these in just a period of two nights. So again, the f2.2 optics really can pull in that light quickly. The other thing is I did not manually process any of these. That was the Celestron Origin doing all the work there. So it does a great job in processing the images. Now, another thing I love about the Origin app is it gives you the ability to create an imaging schedule. So if you don't want to stay up all night, you know, 3 a.m. Andromeda is rising, you don't want to wait for that, you can go in and actually schedule an imaging session. So you go to the search tab, you can highlight an object and add it to tonight's imaging session. And then once you've added those objects that you want to image, you can run the origin on auto, or you can manually adjust the settings on how you want it to image. So it really is a one size fits all for everyone in that you can download the stack masters, you can download the raw files and process yourself. There's just a lot of options that the origin will give you. So overall, when it comes to the app and acquiring images, I couldn't recommend it more. It's uh, simple to use. Let's talk about future upgrades on the Celestron Origin. Now I know I mentioned you might see a camera or two upgrade in the future, but I was just on Celestron's website today and saw that they do plan on making the Origin compatible with the StarSense Auto Guider in the future. And there's plenty of auxiliary ports on the Evolution mount to support that. I also saw the ability to support polar alignment. And that's what a lot of people were talking about when the Origin came out, including me, is that we would love to see polar alignment support. So it looks like there will be a wedge in the future for the origin, which is incredible because then you could pull our line, the origin, and theoretically, you know, take five to 10 minute exposures with it. And that just really opens up what you could do with the origin. So I'm really excited to see where this goes in the future. And yeah, when that polar line or that polar wedge comes out for the origin, that will be awesome. I do have a couple of imaging recommendations with the origin. It's defaulted to take 10 second exposures. I would increase that to 15 seconds. You're gonna get a little bit more detail out of the objects. The other thing though it's going to do is save you some storage space because you're not going to be taking as many images and you're not gonna be creating as many files. So longer exposures at 15 seconds I think are the sweet spot on the origin. Uh, the other tip I have is I would recommend 
not imaging at the zenith. If you shoot straight up, I do get some star trails in the image. So those were my two main imaging tips with the Origin, is 10 second exposures are fine, but going up to 15 is, is better, and then don't image at the zenith. Aside from that, the Origin works absolutely fantastic. Very crisp, round stars with the 2.4 micron camera, and the imaging scale is excellent. For the best performance using an altitude azimuth mount, it's important to level the mount as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as good as you can get it, I would say is good enough. The Raspberry Pi is isolated from the main optics and Celestron also includes a large cooling fan to keep everything nice and cool. So you don't have to really worry about your images being affected by any of that. They'll always be nice and sharp. So just to summarize my thoughts on the Celestron Origin, you're getting all of Celestron's latest technology in this. You're getting the dew heater ring, the focus motor, the star sense technology, the excellent Nexstar Evolution mount, and an awesome six inch Rasa optical tube. The F2.2 optics are extremely fast. They're basically six times faster than a telescope that's F5. So you're really sucking in the light and making those beautiful images. The app is intuitive, it's simple to use, and you should be able to produce beautiful images on your very first night out that you can share with your family and friends. The Raspberry Pi based computer back here does an excellent job processing those images in real time. And overall, the whole system weighs 41 pounds. It's very portable and each individual component does not weigh over 20 pounds, so it's very easy to break down and transport. And the origin is awesome for amateur astronomers, expert astrophotographers and researchers alike. You can pull the raw files off of it. You can just use the stack masters. There's really an application for everyone, which I love. So overall, Celestron did an excellent job on their first smart telescope. You know, go big or go home and Celestron went big and I love that. So they did a great job on the origin and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up my review of the Celestron Origin Smart Telescope. I'd like to thank Celestron for loaning me this unit and letting me play around with it. I have been having a great time with the Origin and I'm probably going to buy one myself as soon as I can afford one. Uh, it has been an excellent telescope and I've been more than happy with it being able to use it for research purposes and for taking awesome astro photographs as well. So overall I've been happy with the Origin. It's an exciting new entry in the smart telescope arena and they did a great job with it. So thanks so much for watching. As always I hope you have a great day and clear skies.